514. A refrigerated storage warehouse is kept at negative 10 degrees inside temperature. The refrigerated space is loaded with 10,000 pounds of frozen chicken at 27 degrees Fahrenheit. We know the specific heat above freezing for chicken, the specific heat below freezing, the latent heat of fusion, the freezing point, which is 27 degrees, so the freezing point of chicken is slightly lower than the freezing point of water, and the thermal conductivity. The cooling required in BTUs to cool the chicken from freezing point to negative 10 degrees is most nearly what? So this chicken is entering at its freezing point, which is 27, and it's already frozen. It says frozen chicken. So it doesn't have to give up its latent heat of fusion in order to become frozen. It's already done that. All that's happening is sensible cooling from its freezing point down to the desired temperature of negative 10. So this can be done entirely as a Q equals MCP delta T problem. And we know the mass is 10,000 pounds. And we know the specific heat capacity because that's been given to us. It's below freezing, so we're gonna use this one. And we know the delta T, it has to go from 27 down to negative 10. So this is a pretty straightforward substitution. And I'll keep the units. 10,000 pounds, 0.37 BTU per pound degree Fahrenheit, and a delta T of 27 degrees Fahrenheit minus negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit, so ultimately 37. And pounds goes away, degrees Fahrenheit goes away, we should be left with BTUs. Q equals 136,900 BTU. Best choice is B. Now, if it had been that the chicken was not frozen, but was already at 27 degrees, what we would have to first do is add another term to this. It would be M delta H, where delta H is the latent heat of fusion. So this is a, a key word, so the chicken's already frozen, and then any further reduction in temperature is purely sensible cooling from its current state down to the desired temperature of negative 10.